Hey guys, Radio 2 here, and uh, we got a little bit of a surprise for you guys. Um, I've been collecting a lot of toys lately that I do not need one bit. Um, running out of money, buying way too much stuff. But um, this this popped up on Facebook Marketplace, and um, you know I just sold the drift missile a couple months ago, and we finally got Jamie's racer going that I built and sold to him like almost two three years ago we just finally got it running this year and moving he loves that thing but um this popped up on facebook marketplace and i made a deal with the guy and he drove an hour and 40 minutes i drove an hour and 40 minutes and i met up with him and i came home with a another racing mower um this is a little Huffy style Pinto, whatever you want to call it. The little tiny box frame with, ouch, a little tiny box frame with a um, little hood and a stock fifth five horse motor or eight, eight horsepower. But um, this is an old FX class racer. Um, it's going to need redone. Uh, I got. It has a cooler 15.5. It runs. Um, I personally haven't heard it run in person or drive in person, but he sent me a video, and uh, I believe him. But um, came with a spare 15 horse block that's supposed to have a shaved head, and it does have an aftermarket um, aluminum flywheel. It has a uh, MWSC. 621 and MWSC 627 stamped into the flywheel. I have not seen any uh, branding marks on it, so if anybody knows what flywheel that is, let me know. Um, looking at the head, I can't really tell if it is shaved or not because it's got the gasket on it, but um, you can see. If I pull around to the intake, there's some uh, jankiness going on there. Kind of looks like um, JB Weld of some sort or some type of insert to smooth out the intake bore. Let me see if I can put the light on real quick. Yeah, there we go. You can see that in there. I don't know what that is. Right there. So, uh, I don't know what that is, but I'm um, not too worried about that. Uh, the main reason why I bought it was because I like these little mini styles, these little mini frames, and uh, uh, he didn't have very good pictures. So, uh, these tires look good, but now you can see all the dry crack so not too happy about that but it, they all have tubes in them so they hold but these tires brand new are about fifty sixty dollars a piece and then the rims are about thirty dollars a piece came with two extra ones which these ones i don't think are dry cracked and they got the aluminum rims and uh a rear axle is going to cost me hundred bucks to set that up plus even more brakes are expensive it's got hydraulic brakes on it um, it has a little velocity stack adapter and this is supposed to be a bigger carburetor I have no idea but um, it's just a right angle gearbox <laughs> this all this janky shit's gonna have to get replaced um, it's got a big nice big caliper back there this steering I want to redo it's got slop in it and basically what I'm going to do is redo the whole thing and see how that's all set up all that play but yeah I'm going to strip the whole thing down I'm going to paint it up 
make it look really nice and uh, make a few tweaks and make a new exhaust I'll show you the exhaust on this thing whatever whatever you want to call that but um yeah my plan is to redo it and it's gonna be done Red Zero 2 style and uh, should be a little fun thing to rip around maybe next spring you'll see some uh, racing mower action between me and Jamie see who wins that on the little track up camp and then uh, maybe we'll build a girlfriend one too don't tell her I said that cause she'll be pestering the shit out of me but um yeah sounds good uh, if you guys like the video thumbs it up make sure you subscribe if you want to see some more videos of this eventually we'll be getting to it have a wonderful day chain has walked off and is now it's supposed to be down in there it's now up here so 